Making time for a workout is tough, right? So making time for the post-workout stretch sometimes feels impossible or I'll just say not worth it. Maybe we see stretching as an optional step in our fitness routine and health journey, but my next guest says those final five minutes of class or end stretch on your favorite fitness app is the most important part of your workout. Studio 5 Health and Fitness contributor Emily Nelson is here to explain. Great to see you. It's so good. You're validating me because you know I, I, I infrequently am able to pop into Emily's class and I love when I can and I'm always trying to linger for the stretch. That's my favorite part. I know. It really is. Um, it's just so hard because I think we are in such a fast paced world. Yes. We're so busy. It's not necessarily intentional. I think people think like why don't they put the importance on it. It's like they I think people see the value, we're just not making time for it. So we need to remind ourselves of the value and what it brings because I'm guilty, like I'm here to state, I'm not mocking anyone. <laughs> I'm guilty of the last five minutes of fitness class, the lights come down, people exit stage left. Yeah, we duck out sometimes. Duck out, or you know, you're doing your workout and you feel the pace starts to go, you shut off the TV. Like it, mm -hmm. we're all guilty of it, but we have to put the priority back in if you, we wanna stay in the game longer. Why is it so important then? Okay, so I, my business partner always says this, and I love this analogy, stretching is the flossing of fitness, okay? Oh. <laughs> we avoid it a little bit, am I right? That's, that's am good. I right? We avoid a little bit, but honestly, if we're not doing it, we're gonna decay. Like, our bodies are gonna decay. It is the number one thing to prevent injury, and I, I don't know about you, but I wanna keep in the game longer, right? We wanna be able to move for as long as we can as we get older, mm -hmm. and if we are not taking the time to do small, simple things to stretch the body, we will not stay in the game. We will tighten up, we will injure, and we can't continue going harder, faster, stronger. That's what's gonna keep us going harder, faster, stronger. Are there, that's a great analogy, mm -hmm. are there particular areas of the body that are overworked to the point that we should be focusing on them for our stretching efforts? Yes, absolutely. I mean, everybody's body is tight in different ways, but um, definitely your hips and your hammies, we're so tight, we sit so much. Everybody's hips are so tight. We gotta open those up. How often do we open up? Not enough. We're mm -hmm. always sitting mm -hmm. like this, right? Mm -hmm. We've got our lower back, everybody especially. I'm finding every year I get older that my lower back is getting tighter. Also, we're gonna talk about the calves. We're constantly walking, jumping, especially if you're really into fitness, working through those calves. And then also our glutes. It's such a large muscle that we've gotta give attention not only to work it, but to recover it. You talk about the tightness and acknowledging everybody's mm -hmm. going to be different, but is that tightness what eventually leads to pain, back pain, knee pain? Is that is that what ripples out? Yeah, so what happens is if we continue to tighten up and not recover and stretch out these body parts that we're working, it will lead to injury mm. and um, start to tighten up to the point that we can't work those body parts. And it's just so important as we go on this journey to, to continue because I know you have to flip the script because we've been trained to go faster, harder, you know, and it's like actually we need to slow down, take mm -hmm. a minute, but it doesn't have to be this crazy hour-long yoga class. And I think the biggest myth is people think I'm not not flexible. I can't stretch. I can't do yoga. I can't do this because I'm not flexible. Guess what? There are people who've been doing yoga for 20 years that cannot touch their toes and people that have been not, barely stretching and can reach past their toes. Every body is so different. So you just go to where you are. And when we do our stretches today, one thing you want to do is you should never feel pain. So I think I was going to ask. That. Yeah. Yeah. So discomfort. Yes. Literally the second I get in a stretch, I'm like, oh, I can feel that. I'm always moaning and groaning in my stretch classes. I'm like, oh, that hurts so bad because I'm so tight. <laughs> Discomfort is good, but you should never feel pain. Okay. So I think in fitness, we think of like, okay, let's go, let's go. Burn. In stretching, you want to ease into it, find that point where you feel the discomfort, maybe go a little farther and then pull back because just like in you know running or lifting weights, you can get injured, mm -hmm. even stretching. Mm -hmm. So you really don't want to look at your neighbor and compare. You want to feel it deep in your body and just push it to that point where you hit that discomfort. Listen, I, I love it. Anytime I can do an interview in my bare feet, but there's a reason. I for know, it. yes. We're gonna stretch. Let's hit the mat. Show yes. us some of your favorites for those target areas that you mentioned. Yeah, okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is get in for hips and hammies. So okay. it's very simple. And the reason why I'm showing you these stretches, because these are things you literally can do while you're chatting on the phone, you're watching a show with your kids. <laughs> I'm hey, serious. Hey, sister. No, I literally was doing them, and I'm like, I'm gonna put the phone on speakerphone and we're just Perfect. gonna chat. So we're gonna come into this position, one leg front, knee okay. over ankle, and we're gonna push forward. Now, foot in the back, I wanna make sure you can see is flat. It's not up on your toe, you're flat. Uh -huh. And you're gonna push forward, stretch through that hip flexor. Now, if you wanna create 
more, you want to inch your toe forward. Try inching your toe forward. Your lever gets longer, and then we're just gonna lean mm. forward. Your lever. You see, as your lever gets longer, the stretch gets more intense. So, some people are to the point where this is gonna be too much, so you gotta rebut. But if not, you can be here, and even more so, take your hands to the inside. Okay. Of inside, both oh, hands inside. to the inside of your leg. Okay. I'm already feeling it right yeah, there. If, yeah, you can feel I am too. if not, people are more flexible, you can take it down. down. Okay. okay. But honestly, just sitting here, you while you watch your favorite show, you feel it. Inching it forward, hanging out. So straight from there, we're gonna push it back. And so how long do you sustain it? Honestly, I would stay here for a minute or two. Just hang. Just hanging just out. Hang. Let your lever, what did you say, lengthen? <laughs> lengthen the lever. Lengthen your lever. And lengthen just sit. your levers. That's what we're gonna say. Okay, from here we're gonna push back and we're gonna stretch the hamstring. So we're doing that opposing. Now some people are very tight through their hamstrings. Mm -hmm. So you always want to lead with your chest. That's the most, we never want to round our oh, back, okay? Yeah. We don't want to lead with our head, we want to lead with our chest. Uh -huh. So this may be as far as you can go. Uh -huh. As you become more flexible, you can take it out. Once again, I'm not diving my head down, right? Yeah, you're staying level. I'm leading with the chest. Yeah. Now, if you are super flexible, people can go into a half split or a full <gasps> split. There she is, Emily I'm not Nelson, going, everybody. I'm not going Emily there. Nelson. No. So, but what you want to do is you honestly are just hanging out here. Yeah. Do you see how simple that is? You yeah. can go minute here, yeah. pushing it back to here. Yeah. Just loosening up that hip flexor right there is going to make such a difference in your daily movements. I love this. I love I'm, the feel. And, you know what I mean? Doesn't it feel good? Just to breathe for a minute. I My know. Gosh. Okay, so okay. obviously you would switch sides and yeah. do the other side, but with time we're going to move on. You okay, okay with that? Yeah, yeah. So we're going to sit down. The biggest thing whenever you're stretching in any seated position is you want to make sure that your glutes stay on the floor. The second we start Start lifting our glutes off we're gonna lose that you want to connect through your glutes okay. so I'm gonna point out already do you see how Brooks knees are completely flat down and mine are like a tight little wound up toy that is genetic no matter how much I stretch but the way my hips are uh -huh. I cannot get them down okay because here's the one too I don't need to point out she's working out and stretching way more than me isn't that interesting <laughs> it's yeah, yeah you cannot compare to your neighbor like if someone's going into the full splits they could have never done the splits and you've been working on them for years mm -hmm. so on this glute stretch this is also going to get your lower back a little bit we're gonna lean forward once again remember the tip lead with the chest okay and we're gonna reach it out some people I'm already feeling it right here this may be as far as you can go remember we want to feel discomfort not pain. Okay. The farther we go, remember, do not lift those glutes up off the ground. Okay. We're simply hanging out here. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm slightly uncomfortable to the point where I'm getting a little bit sweaty. Okay. <laughs> so when I say hang out here for a few minutes, as long like, as you can. I'm not comfortable. I got to be doing something to distract me. Maybe I'm texting okay. somebody. <laughs> I'm just saying you can do this in your daily life. Yeah. How good does it feel? It feels good. You're going to ease back once again. We want to do a couple minutes at least per stretch, right? Okay. All right. Coming in. We've got one minute left together. Can you give us okay, one more? Okay, yeah, we're gonna go down. Cause okay. we're gonna flip around. Okay. Um, the lower back. So let's talk about the lower back. We're gonna lay down. My lower back gets so tight, so I love this. We're gonna bring our legs up to 90 degrees. Okay. This is very simple. And then we're simply gonna drop them. We're gonna go this way. Drop them to one direction, keeping your both shoulder blades on the ground if you can. Okay. If you can't drop them all the way to the ground, you're just gonna go where you can. Extending the arms out and you're gonna look towards the opposite arm. Oh, so twist This feels good. Doesn't that feel so yeah, good? Yeah, it does. Simply laying here, like I said, stick that phone, ear pod in, <laughs> listen to your music, getting things yeah, done. Yeah. Watching okay. Brooke on the television. That's every right. Day. This is what you do yes. when you watch Studio Five. <laughs> yes, we're gonna do this. You stretch. You're gonna stretch. It feels so good. And I know we don't make time for it, but don't you feel better? Like I, I do. honestly, let's roll it up. I do. Slow. There's so many things you can do. Little things, it doesn't have to be serious. It doesn't have to be a full hour stretch class. Right. It simply just needs to be incorporated so we can continue with our everyday movement. I love it. Thank you so much. There's one bonus stretch that I know is one of your favorites. We'll yes. post that on Instagram. Yeah, a way we'll you can self-massage your calves, yes. right? Yes. All right, look for that on Instagram. And I think I heard you mention like stretching is good, especially as you get older. Absolutely. A little older. A little older. Happy birthday to Emily Nelson. We didn't know what to give our fitness contributor on her birthday. Oh gosh. So we went so with kind of a self-created oh. cake of your favorite, you know, protein bars. My favorite. You know me so well. We have it on good authority. You like a good well, I have to energy drink. How I say that. We'll say energy drink. Yeah. Yes, energy drink and protein. You're so sweet. The energy drink she likes is big. I'm older, so and so I'm making a goal to stretch more, and I hope you guys. Will I love too. it. And happy birthday. We Thank love you. you. Thank, Thank you so much.